everyone, today I'm going to be unboxing this package from K-Town for you. This should contain six copies of Stray Kids' first full-length album, Go Live. Now this will only be the normal editions of the album. I have two copies each of version A, version B, and version C in here. I have ordered the limited edition as well. Normally what I like to do with releases like this is get a full set from a few different places, like limited and all three normals from one site, limited and all three normals from another site. However, because they put the pre-orders up for the limited edition, I think it was like a week or so before normal version pre-orders went up, by the time the normal ones were on pre-order and I went to go place my orders, the limiteds were sold out on most sites. They have since opened up pre-orders for the limited editions on some other sites, like they're available at Target now in the US, I believe. But a lot of those sites I normally order from, like K-Town for You and Music Korea, are totally sold out of the limiteds still. So I ended up ordering all of my normal copies from K-Town for You because there was a Stray Kids Twitter fan base offering a discount for the album, which made that work out to be the cheapest place to get them from. But I got four limiteds from Music Korea and then three limiteds from Subculture Shop. I wanted to wait until at least one of my limiteds came in, that way I could go ahead and unbox all four versions for you. However, it's been a few days since I received this package and neither of my other orders have shipped yet, and I'm impatient and wanted to go ahead and open these albums up. But whenever my limited albums do come in, I will be doing an unboxing of one of the limited edition albums and then just doing photo card reveals of the others. So here's a look inside the package. We can see the albums themselves look pretty thick. Stray Kids have gone with a totally new style of packaging this time. All of their previous albums are essentially the same style with a few minor differences. This is their first time going for a box style packaging. And then we also have two poster tubes. So I'm guessing I got a set of posters for each set of albums. It's interesting that they put two different tubes in there instead of just putting it all in one. But maybe with the box being so tall, it was safer than having the one poster tube rattling around a bunch. So here we have all three of the normal versions of the album. We have version A, B, and C. And I think it was a pretty clever idea to theme the albums this way because with the exception of their pre-debut mixtape album, all of Stray Kids' other releases have kind of followed this color scheme. Um, for their first series of albums, the I Am series, we had I Am Not, which was red, I Am Who, which was yellow, and I Am You, which was blue. And for the Clay series, we had Miro, which was red, Yellowwood, which was yellow, and Levanter, which was blue. So I feel like incorporating that into their first full album is a really neat way to kind of continue that theme, but also potentially put it to rest if they want to branch out from that with their future releases. It is a box style packaging, which I am normally not a huge fan of, but I do understand for their first full album wanting to go with something that looked a bit more impressive than their typical thin book style. This is also the same style of packaging that Monster X went with with their first full album, Beautiful, and that TXT went with with their first full album, The Dream Chapter of Magic. The limited edition is essentially the same cover art, it's just black with, I think, holographic text. And the limited, of course, also has a few extra random member goodies. I'm going to do a full unboxing of each version first, going in order red, yellow, blue, then I'm going to do a photo card reveal of the second set. I'm hoping not to get too many duplicates, but I understand that is a high possibility due to me ordering so many copies from one source. Of course, like most K-pop albums nowadays, you can't just have one version with a singular spine design. There has to be a graphic going across all of them to compel people to buy more than one version. In this case, it is the Stray Kids SKZ logo. This one also continues on to the limited, so I don't have the full, complete logo here, unfortunately, as my limiteds have not arrived yet. And it is on both sides of the spine. And so this is what the cover looks like. It says Stray Kids at the top, the first full album along the side. Along the other side, we have the eight members' names. Bang Chan, Lino, Chungbin, Hyunjin, Han, Felix, Sungmin, and I In. We've got the album's title, Go Live, and then Stray Kids Everywhere All Around the World. 
and then some JYP credits. We also have an S on this version of the album. The others have T, A, and Y on the front cover to spell out their fandom name, Stay, which is really cute detail in my opinion. The top and bottom spines are blank, and I've already shown you the sides. Then on the back, again, we have Stray Kids' first full album. We have the track listing on the side. There are a grand total of 14 songs on this album, which is super impressive, even with the fact that four of those are previously released bonus tracks. We still have 10 original songs, which is pretty standard for a full album, I would say. I believe that's the same amount that were on Monster X's first full album, Beautiful. So we have the intro track, Go Live, which, even though it is an intro and it is on the shorter side, it feels like a full, complete song, which I quite like. I feel like a lot of intros have a tendency to feel unfinished and leave you wishing they were a longer, fuller song. But the way that Go Live is structured, it feels like a complete song, even though it is shorter. We have the title track, God's Menu, and then we have the B-sides, Easy, Pacemaker, Airplane, Another Day, Phobia, Blueprint, Ta, and Haven. Then we have our four bonus tracks, which were previously released as digital singles, but this is their first time being included on a physical release. We have their opening and ending OSTs from the Anime Tower of God, Top, and Slump, and then their digital mixtape tracks, Gone Days, and On Track. I know some people weren't happy with those songs being included in the album. I think if we had only gotten 10 songs in total, and those four songs had like taken the place of potentially other original songs, then I would definitely understand that disappointment. However, 10 songs for a full album is a lot of brand new songs. There are some full albums that have even less than that, so I don't mind those four being included since we didn't have a physical release for those previously. I would rather those be included in bonus tracks here rather than remaining digital only, but that's just because I'm old-fashioned and I like to have a hard copy of everything. I am a little bit disappointed that we don't get studio versions of any of their unit songs from the Unlock World Tour yet. Hopefully we will see releases of those in the future because they have been putting out a lot of solos through the SKZ Player and SKZ Record series on their YouTube channel. I definitely think it is possible that they are saving the unit songs for something like that, or maybe even potentially a tour album if they're going to do a concert DVD, which I hope that they will, because the Unlock Tour was incredible, and I would really like them to release a DVD version for everyone who was not able to make it out to a concert because it unfortunately did end up getting postponed after the American leg. But all 10 of the new tracks on the album are fantastic. All of the bonus tracks are really good as well. I highly, highly recommend checking it out. Even if you aren't a fan of what you've heard from Stray Kids so far, they try out a lot of different sounds on this album. There's a couple b-sides that even remind me of Monsta X a little bit. There's one that they literally worked with a producer who works with Monsta X on a few of their songs. That one is Phobia. It's just a really solid album with, at least I think, a little bit of something for everybody. Um, but just from moving this around, I can tell that the random inclusions are just going to be loose in the box. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I do collect four different members of Stray Kids. Those are Hyunjin, Changbin, Felix, and Bang Chan. So I am hoping to pull those cards, as they are the members I collect, but I truly do love all eight members very dearly. I'm never disappointed to pull anybody's photo card, it's just for collection purposes I usually do end up trading if I don't pull those specific members. Would love to collect all eight if I could, but that would be a lot of time and money that I just do not have, frankly. So the first thing you see when you lift the lid off is the booklet. And this is more like what the limited albums look like with the black, with the, oh, I think it's more iridescent text instead of the white text. My one gripe with Stray Kids physical packaging is that instead of doing a completely different concept for each version, they typically have like the same one or two concepts and just use different photos for different albums. There's actually even been a few albums where they've reused the same photos in multiple versions. Which I'm not a huge fan of. I was really hoping that they would step that up for this first full album, especially with there being four different versions. But based on the teaser pictures we got, I don't 
think they did that. I haven't watched any unboxings yet, so I could be wrong. But just from what I've seen, it seems like we might get the same one or two photo shoots reused throughout all four versions. Which will be a bummer if that's the case, but I'm bracing myself for it. Really hope I'm wrong, but I'm not expecting to be. Okay, we actually do have some of the bonus stuff in the booklet, so we'll take a look at that later. And, but first, we'll take a look at the other extra inclusions. So this, I believe, is our lyrics sheet. And these are also random member. There are two different versions with different units. So this one, we have Lino, Han, Chan, and Felix. And it folds out. So on this side, we have the lyrics to... Go Live, God's Menu, Easy, Pacemaker, Airplane, and Another Day. We have this really cute picture of all four members here. On the other side, we have another picture and the lyrics for Phobia, Blueprint, Ta, Haven, Top, Slump, Gone Days, and On Track. So that's really cute. I'm glad that they did that in two different units, though, instead of, like, one for each member because that would be very difficult to collect if that was the case okay and see this right here is why i don't like box style packaging i don't actually have a problem with the box itself i don't know this is just nitpicking but because it's really big the actual album itself but half of that when you actually open it up half of that is just filler is just in fact that's over half of it that much of the album is like all that is actual contents the rest of it is just filler and it doesn't need to be like that see look at that look at how thick the cd holder is compared to the actual cover that is literally half of it and I get it, it's so it looks more impressive if you just see it on the shelf. It's to try and entice more people to buy it. But, I don't know, I just feel like you don't have to do tricks like that to make people buy the album. But again, that is just me being nitpicky. I still buy albums all the time that are like this, so obviously it doesn't bother me too much. I just wish they, if they were going to have such thick packaging that they utilized it better. But that's the CD. Stray Kids, the first full album, Go Live. Then we've got a new tagline, it looks like. It says, Go Live in Life, which is cute. I love all their little taglines that they come up with. And now let's take a look through the red version booklet. Got Go Live. I actually do really like this concept from what we've seen of the teasers. However, I like the concept and the actual music video a little bit better. So it makes me a little bit disappointed that we don't get any of that here. At least I'm assuming we don't. I could be wrong, but I'm assuming it will all be this photo shoot. They look really cool, though. They always do. So we've got Bang Chan, the leader to start out with. And he actually has black hair right now and in the music video, but for the photo shoot they gave him this very obviously sprayed pink and blue color, which I still like. Pink and blue are two of my favorite colors. But I also wish we had more black haired Bang Chan because we don't get that very often. We have Lino. Who I don't even know what color he has here. It looks like it's just brown. But he's got this really pretty reddish color right now. And then Chung Bin with his blue hair, which he does still have, although it's very quickly fading. He's so handsome. This is a really good look for him. And then Hyunjin, whose hair is long in the photo book, but you can tell they shot this a while back because it is even longer now. And right now it is all blonde, but in the music video it was a brown to blonde ombre, which all three of those colors are super gorgeous on him. Like, look at how teeny tiny his ponytail looks here compared to how it looks in the live stages. Like, it's crazy how much his hair has grown out so quickly. But I am glad that his hair is still on the longer side here. Because I really, really love Hyunjin with long hair. It looks so gorgeous on him. 
And these were some of the teaser pictures. And we have Han. And it looks like for the photo shoot, what they did was spray paint black into his blonde hair. Right now his hair is black, and they're spray painting silver into it. It's kind of funny. We have Felix, whose hair was so much shorter when they shot this. This actually gives me an idea of when they did this photo shoot, because he did a V-Live where he, like, revealed his short purple hair. This was a couple months back, I think, now. I want to say that was, like, when they released On Track, if I'm not mistaken. So it's been a while since they did this photo shoot. Zoom in. I like the glitter in his hair. They're doing that for Felix more in the live stages, interestingly. And Sugman's hair is purplish now. We have I in. It's such a blurry picture. Interesting. He looks so handsome, this era. He's really grown up well. I have some group pictures. We have the track listing again. Oh, so you have the lyrics in the album and the lyrics booklet. That's an interesting choice. These definitely could have just been more pictures since they have the lyrics booklet. Hmm. I don't really understand JYP's album direction people. But then again, I'm not a graphic designer, so what do I know? Then we have some Banks 2s from the whole group. Well, that's really cute. It's got like a little message on the board of the picture. It says, you make stray kids stay, stray on the road all... I, I can't read all of that. That's really cute. And they have their individual thanks twos. And a little collage picture that is super cute and that kind of reminds me of the zine from their Japanese single T.O.P. We have some credits and that is it for version one. So it is a really cute photo book. I do really like all of the pictures. I just don't like that I think they're going to reuse the same concept for all four booklets. But maybe I'll be proven wrong. Who knows? But now let's take a look at our bonus items. We get quite a few in this album. So for first press, you get this Polaroid, which I got Lino for this one, and that is super cute. It's got a little handwritten message. It is just blank on the back, which is interesting. I actually am planning to gift a few of these copies to some of my friends, and one of my friend's biases is Mino, so she will definitely be really happy that I pulled his Polaroid because that means she can get Lino's Polaroid. Then we have this... I think these are unit pictures, if I'm not mistaken. They sure are. And once again, I got Mino and Changbin. If I get a duplicate of this, then my friend can get Minos, but if not, I'm keeping this one because Changbin is one of my biases. And this is really cute. I love little extra bonuses like this. But again, I think it's interesting that they're blank on the back because they aren't usually. And then I'm going to guess this is one of the photo cards. Interesting that we get a group picture on the back of it. Oh, I see, that's why, because this isn't the photo card, this is the message card. So that's really cute. We got this nice group photo on the back. You could just display it as a group photo card if you wanted to. And then the actual photo cards are back there. They have switched it up. They're not doing QR codes this time, I've realized, which is very interesting. I don't mind that. I actually was not a huge fan of the QR codes on the back. Uh, it was cool that you could get to pull up a picture or a voice message or something, but when you're displaying the cards in the album, it wasn't as aesthetically pleasing as some of the nice photo card back designs. So the backs might give it away, but we are going to find out. This little black piece goes with the message card. You put it over it to reveal the hidden words, which are of course stray kids everywhere all around the world which is one of their little signature taglines. 
One thing I was bummed out by is that you only get two photo cards to this album. They brought it down. You were getting like three or four in their past couple. Three in the normals, four in the limited, I believe. So once again, we have this little handwritten message, which is super cute. A little smiley face on the end. I love that they finally get to do handwritten messages on the photo cards. Um, if you know their Korean handwriting better than I do, you might already know who it is. But I don't know their Korean handwriting. Oh, but I got Soongmin. And that is a super cute photo card of him. <gasps> oh my gosh, wait a minute. I got factory duplicates, because this is three photo cards right here, and I'm only supposed to have two. <sighs> I, yep, I got a duplicate of the Swingman photo card. And that does happen every now and again when they are printing albums. Sometimes you'll get a couple photo cards stuck together, and you'll end up with more than one of the same photo card. Or sometimes if you're really unlucky, which I have been with a couple of my Stray Kids albums, you get one less photo card than you're supposed to. It happens, it's luck of the draw, it's unfortunate when you miss one that you're supposed to have, but it's always a nice little surprise when you get extras, so that's pretty cool that I get, did get two of that extra Stungman, especially because I was just complaining about getting less photo cards this album. JYP heard my plea. And then this one, whoever this is has adorable handwriting. The way they did the exclamation part on stay is so cute, and then the little heart at the end, that's just precious. <gasps> oh, and of, of course it's Jungbin, of course it is, of course you would have really precious handwriting. That is such a cute photo card, too. And these are definitely very different from the previous photo cards, they're more matte feeling, but I actually really like them. I haven't actually been the hugest fan of some of their photo card materials in the past. But I really like the photo cards of this album. I definitely will be trying to get all of my biases for this one. Next up, let's take a look at the yellow version. Pretty much the same cover, just with the text in yellow instead of red. And we have the T in stay instead of the S. Again, the back design is much the same. Again, pretty much the same booklet, just with the yellow instead of the red. The bonus stuff. Oh no! The corner of one of my things was sticking out of the album and it got a little bit bent. Looks like I fixed it though. But that's something to be aware of if you're particular about that. Oh, awesome. We're on album number two and I've already got the other lyric sleeflet. So that's really cool. I will not have to worry about trading those. You wouldn't think you would, but with some of my odds of stuff, I still don't have the second set of Yellowwood group cards because I pulled the same one in every single one of those limited albums. But this one has Hyunjin, Ai-in, Changbin, and Seungmin. I love that they put Changbin and Hyunjin together. They are absolutely one of my favorite pairings in the group. And that is the other picture for this one. Super cute. So that is actually a different set of outfits than we saw in the first photo book. So maybe they will switch it up a little bit. And again, the CD, pretty much the same as the red one, just with the text in yellow. So here is the version 2 photo book, or the yellow version. These are different outfits. Oh, wait a minute! I think they actually wear these outfits in the music video. Maybe. I might be being really stupid, but I know Hyunjin wears an all-white outfit with a bandana in the video, and I want to say Felix wears that jacket. So that's actually really cool, if I'm not mistaken, and they're not just wearing similar items of clothing. But here we have Bang Chan. So, yeah, so right off the bat, even though this still isn't the concept featured in the video, this is a different photo shoot. Because Chris's hair here is purple and blue instead of the pink and blue. So it is a totally different photo shoot. I do appreciate that. At least for these two versions, there is definite differentiation in the concepts. We have Lino. So it is, so far at least, a step in the right direction. Oh, and these are kind of like the pictures from their unit leaflet thing. We have Chungbin. Very interesting that the graffiti is covering his face in that picture. 
he d he looks yeah okay these are the outfits in the music video because I remember seeing that hat so that's actually cool I actually do like that they did use those same outfits more than once yeah Changmin just looks really really good in this photo shoot yeah Hyunjin is so incredibly pretty I don't even have the words he is unreal that's really cool it's like the graphic editing on it I really like that Is so beautiful. Well, that's an interesting picture. Then we have Han, Han Ji Sung. Somebody's legs. Felix. And then these are similar to their unit lyrically, but not the exact same pictures though, which I like. You have Sun Min. And I N. So we have a group picture. That looks like it's pretty high up. Poor Lino. He's afraid of heights. Don't make him stand on tall things. We have the lyrics, which I'm just going to skim through. And then the thanks to pages are the same as well. And then for the bonus items, I got Changbin's Polaroid, which is super cute. for the unit card I got okay so I did get a duplicate of Changbin and Mino for that and then for the photo cards I did see actually that some of the photo cards were double sided so I'm wondering if that might be what some of these are oh but I got another Changbin which is super cute he looks so adorable in that hoodie. I haven't seen all of the photo cards of this album yet, but all of the ones I've seen of Jungbin's look adorable. And yes, this is one of those double-sided ones, which is super interesting. I've never heard of a double-sided photo card before, but it's such a neat idea. I'm kind of surprised no one else has done it. And right after I said that, I just remembered that New East did do a double-sided photo card once. So I take that back. They have been done before, but they're very, very rare. Oh, oh, my friend is going to be so happy because I got this really adorable one of Mino, which, oh, and he's double-sided as well. So I'm definitely going to give that one to my friend. That's so cute. So now let's take a look at version three, and I'm very interested to see what this photo book is going to look like because so far one and two both used different photo shoots. They were clearly taken, like, right around the same time, judging by their hair colors and styles, but they weren't exactly the same, which I appreciated. So I'm wondering if this is going to be more from one of those photo shoots, or if they're going to surprise me and do something completely different. Let's find out. So again, same basic photo book design, just blue. And I got the same unit lyrics book with Hyunjin and Changbin and Ayin and Sungmin. That is what the CD looks like for this version. Okay, yeah. Unsurprisingly, this is more pictures from the same photo shoot. Which is a little bit of a bummer, but again, I 100% expected that because that's what they've done for pretty much all of their recent albums. So we've got Bang Chan. I actually do appreciate the black and white pictures, though. As I've said before, I'm not normally a fan of those, but it helps differentiate this photo book from the other two, which I do appreciate. It's got the pink and blue hair here. I have Lino. This makes me really curious to see what the limited photo book is going to be like. Based off the Miro albums, I'm going to guess it's just going to be a compilation of all of these concepts because that's how it was for all of the albums in the Clay series. I guess 
more unit pictures. Oh, I really like this picture of Jonathan. Just the writing on the back and oh, just the way that picture is composed is really gorgeous. It's simple, but well done. He is so pretty. Like, his styling in this photo shoot is just so good. The engine is always pretty. I really do wish that we got a full photo shoot of either his brunette to blonde ombre or the full blonde, but this is a gorgeous look as well, so I can't really complain too much. The little ponytail is so cute. Listen, I love guys with long hair, and Hyunjin was my bias when he had really short hair in Miro, so to watch his hair like grow over the past year has been totally unexpected and totally wonderful to see. We have Han. The little skunk stripes are so cute. You know, this photo shoot kind of reminds me of like MySpace scene styling a little bit, but like the 2020 version, which is very Stray Kids, I feel like. Well, they did put some of the glitter on Felix's ear here. They did that for a couple of the live stages. It's really interesting. We have Stoneman. And I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that same sweater with the smiley face on it. I think Yeonjun wore that in one of the TXT Eternity photo books. I, oh, that's... I, I don't know what it is about these graffiti style pictures, but I really, really love them. Diane. And then this group photo, which is super cute. And then the lyrics and credits, which are the same in every version so far. Now let's take a look at the photo cards for the Polaroid. I got a duplicate of Changbin. For the unit photo, I got the same exact one of Changbin and Mino. So it looks like, unfortunately, I probably am going to get a bunch of dupes if I'm even getting duplicates in the different versions. The good news is we can always trade. Looks like my photo cards are different though, which is nice. So let's see. Got a handwritten message on this one. This is the first one with a white background. So it's probably going to be a different card than before. We got another one of Sungmin. Super cute. And then this one has a black background again, but it is a different handwritten message. I almost want to guess Felix, based off the way he wrote stay, but that could be wrong. I was very wrong, it was Jisung. <laughs> I don't know their handwriting that well, that was a complete guess, but that is a super cute photo card. That's adorable. And then the message card once again, the same for all versions. So now I'm just going to do a photo card reveal for my duplicate copies. So from my extra red copy have our message card for the Polaroid. Oh, I got Jongin's. Super cute. I love the little heart that he wrote at the end. I love seeing their actual handwriting. It's always so cute to me. So since that one was different, maybe I'll get a different film strip as well. Nope. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get this for all of the film strips now. Like, I only need... There's only four of these, and so far I've gotten the same one in every album. I feel like there's always, like, one thing like that with Stray Kids album that I'm just, like, cursed to get the same one every time. Looks like my photo cards are all totally different, though. This is Hyunjin! I can tell it is, for two reasons. Because every time he posts on Instagram, he always hashtags it with love stay. And he always uses the heart emoji with a dot under it. And this photo card has hashtag love stay. And it has the heart with a dot emoji twice. So that's definitely Hyunjin. Oh, and that's such a pretty photo card too. I love Hyunjin so much. And I know I go on a lot in these unboxings about how pretty he is. But that's not why he's my bias. I genuinely love who he is as a person. And his talent in rap and dancing and even singing is 
<laughs> so good. He's definitely one of my absolute favorite K-pop boys, and it's not because of his looks. And then this one has a really cute emoticon at the end. Oh, I got another Jungbin one! Oh, he's so precious. This one looks like it was from the On Track MV filming, maybe? Love that I got those two in the same album. So my photo cards have actually been incredibly varied, which I'm super surprised by. I was expecting a lot of duplicates in those. It's just been, like, the Polaroids and the film strips that I've gotten a lot of dupes in so far. And then from my yellow album, I did get a duplicate of the Mino Polaroid. Let me guess. Oh no, I actually did get a different film strip, finally. I got Sungmin and Bang Chan for this one, which is super nice. I just need Felix's and Hyunjin's. And then for the cards... Oh my god, okay. Yeah, my photo cards have been totally different, which is crazy. I got Felix for this one. And this is also from the On Track music video, it looks like. Because they spray painted his hair brown. I wish they would actually dye his hair brown again, because it looks so good on him. This is another double-sided one. And they are both super, super cute. Then my other one, I can tell that it is Hyunjin again because he hashtagged it Love Stay. But it is a different Hyunjin photo card. He is so cute. I'm probably going to jinx myself, but so far, with the exception of the factory error that gave me two of the same Sungmin card, I have not pulled duplicates on the actual photo cards once so far, which literally never happens when you get multiple copies of an album together. Not in my experience, anyway. So, I've had really good luck so far. Wow, I really have. Because I got Felix's Polaroid. So now, I just need Hyunjin's and Chan's to complete the members I collect. And it is a super pretty Polaroid as well. For the film strip. Okay, I did get a duplicate of the Chan and Sungmin one, but that is alright. And then for the photo cards, yeah, it looks like I got totally different ones again. Yeah, wow, I totally did. So I got this one of Jongin. I think these might both be double-sided. Yeah, they are. Oh, that one is so cute. When I got this one of Jisung from On Track, that is also double-sided. So, wow, I'm absolutely amazed. I did not pull a single duplicate photo card, which is unreal. In all of my times unboxing K-pop albums, and all of my times ordering duplicate copies, have never seen that happen. Have never opened six albums from one source and not gotten a single duplicate. Other than the Factory Era Sungmin, which doesn't count because I wasn't supposed to have two of that. That is insane, and I really hope this means that they did a good job mixing up the photo cards. Watch me have just jinxed myself now and get like complete duplicates when my limiteds come in. But either way, I'm super happy with these pulls. I'm super happy that I have a lot of different photo cards. I will probably end up putting a lot of these up for trade, but I'm gonna wait till my limiteds come in first to see what I pull in those. When I do start trading, I will put a link in the description to my current wish list and what I have available. Trades will be US only though because of the international shipping restrictions in place right now. But that is it for today's K-pop haul. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, I will be unboxing the limited version of this as well once my copy of that album comes in. So please subscribe if you'd like to be notified when that gets uploaded. You can check out the other videos on my channel for more unboxings or K-pop hauls like this one. And please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.